Hi beauties, it's Kay, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm giving you grown girl vibes. I'm giving you executive producer. I'm giving you CEO. This look makes me look so grown. It makes me look like I'm in my business. I'm in my check, hope. I showed you guys how I like, just do the front part of my hair. It wasn't great, didn't expect much. This hair is a straight hair. I literally just curled the front section of my hair. That's it, just to give me this curls. So if you guys are interested in how I got this look, then please keep on watching. Hey guys, so we're just gonna jump straight into this. I'm gonna start off by using my Bella Perry HD Primer. This primer is honestly one of my favorite primers. It literally blurs up my pores and it makes my makeup look so smooth, which I love. So next I'm gonna go with my New Revelation Pro Purifying Priming Water. This is like my second time using this product and it works so far. I can't really tell you guys much about it. So for foundation today, I am using my NARS Natural Radiance Foundation. I did mix it with another foundation just because from what I remember, this foundation is a little bit light for me. I am gonna order a new bottle, but I'm gonna change my shade, maybe like a shade or two shades darker because the finish of this foundation is flawless. So for concealer today, I am using my Fenty Beauty Pro Filler Concealer. I am so sorry if you guys can hear the train. So I'm just going in and just like highlighting my usual areas, leaving my forehead because I don't really need any extra highlight over there. And I'm just going to my beauty blender and just blending that out. Because I'm not cream contouring today, I'm going to go back in with my foundation brush. I'm just going to use that to blend out the edges of the concealer so that everything is just like not harsh because we don't do harsh lines over here, baby. Yeah, okay. <laughs> to set my highlighted areas, I am using my MUA Pro Base Powder in the shade 170. You guys know that I like to do this before I go in and bake. And to bake today, I am using my RCMA No Color Setting Powder. Uh, this powder works. I wouldn't say I love it, but I do like it, if that makes sense. <laughs> and then to bronze up my face today, I am using the new Revolution bronzers. I did do a review on this product, so I'll leave a card right up here. So you guys can check it out right after this video. So moving on to my eyes, I'm gonna start off by using my Morphe Eyelid Primer. And I'm just gonna use this to prime my eyelid, literally. Um, the palette I'll be using today is my Anastasia Beverly Hills X Jacket Eyeliner Palette. This is one of my favourite palettes, honestly, like, it's like literally my everyday palette. I am grabbing the dark shade. I don't have this palette with me right now, so I can't give you the names, but I'm using dark brown and I'm just placing that right in my outer corners. So next I am going in with this two warm toe shades. I believe one of it's called Edges. I'm, I really should have the palette with me, but Guys, it's so far away right now and I can't bother to get up, okay? So I'm just using that as my transition colour and then I'm just going to go back and forth with the dark brown and just, you know, blend that out. I just get back and forth with all the shades. As you guys can see, I have brushes in my hand just to make sure that everything is blending out smoothly and there's, like, no harsh line within my eyeshadow. These shadows actually blend out really nicely, by the way. I do, like, ABH palettes. The flawless in them are just a bit much, but um, they're, they're pretty great, to be fair. Now I'm just grabbing this gold shade and I'm just placing that on my lid. <laughs> so I'm just packing this on. I'm not really creating a cut crease. I'm just literally just placing this on my eyelid. And then just going in with the previous shades that I used to blend out the contrast between the gold and the dark brown. So that is what I'm doing. Now I am just going in with my NYX liquid eyeliner and I'm using this to create a wing. I'm starting to love wearing wings again. My love for it is starting to come back. So, we don't know. Like, are we going to see more wings from Kemi? Like, ooh, we don't know. Like, let's see. <laughs> so now I'm just dusting up the excess powder off my face. And then I'm going to go in my face powder. I am using the MAC. Studio Fix Powder in the shade NW. Oh my god, the train is so loud. Oh my days. So I am using the shade NW50 and NW58. So now I'm just going back with the dark brown. I'm just putting that on my lower lash line. Then I'm going to go in with the primer water again. Whatever statements that I use at the beginning of my makeup, I try to stick to it. And I'm just going to go in and put on my eyelashes. So to add some definition to my lower lashes, I am using my collection Fast Track Mascara just to make sure my eyes are really bold. And I'm using the same gold shade 
for my inner corners as well like i said before in my previous video i stopped highlighting i'm honestly in a weird phase right now where i just highlight like my nose and my cupid's bow i don't really highlight my cheeks no more because i feel like sometimes it might look a little bit streaky i don't know like i'm just not feeling it right now okay so moving on to my lips you guys ready now i'm gonna go in firstly align my lips using my makeup revolution all-purpose stick but you guys keep saying that you guys can't find this it's on the website actually guys they have changed their name to root cover up stick i didn't know when they changed it but i'm pretty sure it's the same thing so here you have it and then i'm gonna go with my opv liquid lipstick i haven't used this in a long time this lipstick was a little bit like patchy but it worked so we don't mind so now i'm moving on to my hair the hair and me is just not you know but i do what i do on myself <laughs> I'm literally just grabbing a small section of the front part of my hair, grabbing my curling wand and literally just curling it towards my face. I know people normally say curl it away from your face, but I didn't really want that look. I don't want like a voluptuous look. I want it to be like quite sleek, quite framed to my face. I want it to frame my face, not volume. I don't know the words, but you guys get what I mean. Like, I think you guys can see how I'm struggling, literally struggling to curl my hair. I am so crap at doing hair don't come to me for hair okay <laughs> any hairstyle that i do on my channel just know that it's a very easy one whatever hair videos i have on my channel just know that they're super easy and that's the reason why i'm doing them <laughs> i am so crap with hair i literally just grabbed two sections from my hair and just curled it i'm leaving the rest of them quite straight I don't want it to be like super curly that is why I'm literally going in and like combing the curls out straight away I don't want the curls to be like super defined I want it to be like mm. do you know what I mean like because this is a five by five closure I'm literally just bumping the front part of my hair as well just give it like a frontal-ish type of vibes, if that makes sense. And that is pretty much all I've done. Okay, I hope you like it, or I hope you learned something from it. <laughs> Ooh, so this is the end of the video, guys. What do you guys think? Do you like? Let me know if you'll be repainting this look. Is it your vibe? If you're new to my channel, don't leave without a subscriber please and thank you thank you guys so much for watching i love and appreciate you guys so much and by the grace of god i'll catch you guys in my next video bye guys